Okay, and welcome to another um, Ancients of Chaos uh, tutorial. Today we're going to quickly try and install this thing, the TS Notifier. It's a TeamSpeak Notifier. Basically, it allows you to see who's on TeamSpeak, who's talking while you're playing World of Warcraft. So, in this instance, basically, if you got to this video, you came to our lovely website here at um, Ancient of Chaos. Basically, go over here to the TeamSpeak tutorial. This is a very old version of this tutorial and will get updated soon. It was originally created by Mad Kiwi. Anyway, we're going to open it in a new page just for ease of use. Up the top of the page here, choose TS Notify Tutorial. Once that opens, you're going to need both of these. This one is the actual notifier itself, this is the overlay, and this one is the plugin that allows you to use TeamSpeak 3. So if we download both of these, just to a place where you know you can get to them relatively easily. In this case, I'm going to save them to my desktop. There we go. Now once they're completed, we don't need the web page anymore, so we can get rid of those. Now, first off, we need to install TeamSpeak Notifier, just the application itself. I've already pre-installed pre it, so in this case I'll just do a quick repair so you can see roughly what happens. Okay, now that it's installed, you should have an icon like this on your desktop. Now, when you first install TeamSpeak Notifier, it will not run with TeamSpeak 3, it just does not automatically connect to the two. Anyway, what we need to do is tell it how to connect using the, the plugins. So we'll open TeamSpeak. Once TeamSpeak's open, go up to Settings, and then to Plugins. Once in Plugins, you'll be able to see what's there. At the time of writing, TS Notifier wouldn't have been automatically loaded. So what we do is we open up where you've installed TeamSpeak, so in this case Program Files, TeamSpeak 3 Client, go into the Plugins folder, and here we need to put in the TS Notifier Helper plugin. Now we've got two versions here, a Windows 32 version and a Windows 64 version. I would suggest that no matter what version you're using, use the Windows 32 version, unless of course you want to try something specific. So click and drag, drop it into the program files, TeamSpeak plugins folder, and here you can see mine is already listed. Close everything up. When you go back into TeamSpeak, under the plugin settings you hit the reload all button and then it will automatically turn up in this list here. Now you can quite happily connect to TeamSpeak just like this. It doesn't look any different, it still runs roughly the same, but quite quite frankly it's easy enough now so that when you open up World of Warcraft it'll automatically show the overlay as follows. <laughs> 